everybody, I'm back and I lied. I am not going to have a craft video right now. I will later on today. Yeah. I'm debating on cutting my hair because my hair in the summer when it's hot out and it's long, just really, I can't stand it. Alright. What am I making a video for? I am going to start doing top 5 videos because I love doing top 5. I think they're so fun. So, if you, viewers, have anything you want to hear, like top 5 makeup, top 5 something else, I don't care, just ask me. I already got, like, a couple top 5s listed on my notes, so, <coughs> excuse me. Alright, so right now I'm going to talk about my top 5 celebrity crushes. It's going to talk, uh, start by... It's supposed to be top five, but I have top seven. I couldn't pick. Alright. Top seven. Okay, number seven. Chris from Milan. I fell in love with him. I am really weird when it comes to TV shows. I think some TV shows are like really like not worth my time or I won't simply like them when they first come out, but I like get into it when they're like into like, I get into TV shows when they're in either second, between second and ninth season. That's when I start to get into TV shows. Yeah, I'm weird like that. All right. I liked him when I first, like my parents are big on Law and Order um, TV shows and I never liked it. Then I started watching Law and Order SVU and I fell in love with Chris from Maloney, and he plays Stabler, Detective St Stabler. And I have a best friend named Alyssa, and me and her had like an ongoing fight for about, I think about five, six years about him. Like, we fought over him, like literally fought over him. Like, no, he's mine, no, he's mine. Yeah, it was crazy, but she can have him because I'm over him right now. <laughs> but he was one of my big crush for a long time. Yeah. Number six, not really a crush. I mean, a long time ago, like in the 80s movies and 1990s, I thought he was really cute. But now he's like falling apart. Yeah, Charlie Sheen. I used to love Charlie Sheen. And like, when he, when Two and a Half Men first started, I loved him. I was obsessed with him. Not really like, crush wise but more like great actor wise I love you if that makes any sense at all but now after the whole things going on with him it just I'm so very unattracted to him it it's it sounds harsh the way I'm saying this but I I still love him I think he's I think he's come a long way after what he's been through and his new TV show, Anger Management, I watch it every week. And I think it's hilarious. I, I really think it's a great TV show. So, number six. He was my first crush ever. In my history of crushes, he was my first. Jim Carrey. I still love that man. I mean, but he was my all-time crush when I was, like, little. When I was, like, a little kid. I'm like, Mommy, I'm going to marry him someday. <laughs> it was crazy. I fell in love with him when I watched... I think The Mask was the first movie I watched of his. And I used to love Liar Liar, but then I started cussing, and then my mom took the tape away from me. And now I'm watching it again because I am going to be 21 and I do cuss. So, But he was my all-time crush when I was older. But, okay, number five. On to my top five. Number five, I love this guy. I love Ryder Sean. And if he's not in a lot of movies, but he played Sean Hunter off of Boy Meets World. I came to realize I'm really into guys that have dark hair. I I don't like blonde head kids or guys. Except for except for Justin Timberlake who I did love when I was like young. But um Ryder Strong, I watched Boy Mace World after it got cancelled. 
and um, I just fell in love with Sean Hunter. I, I loved him. I still do to this day. Um, I'm looking at my notes. Number four is Ian Harding. Ian Harding... <laughs> it's embarrassing to talk about. I don't know why it's embarrassing. It's just like, I don't like... I don't know. But in every scene that he kisses Arya on Pretty Little Liars, you can see his tongue. And for some reason, that is such a turn on. <laughs> I don't know why. If I can see your tongue breaking out, I mean, it's just... It's like... Ah, I don't know why. And I think Ezra is a really cool name, but not for a guy. But I think Ian Harding is just so cute. He is so adorable. Yeah. Number two is um, Shane West. I... I am a big Nicholas Sparks fan, and when I heard that, um, Watch and Remember coming out on DVD, my heart dropped. And that was the first movie I saw of Shane West, and I fell in love with him. I, I'm going to name my kid after Landon Garter, I swear to God, I already made that official. So, um, not that I'm pregnant now, but I'm just saying in the future, long, long, long time away from now. But, um, I fell in love with him when I saw A Watch to Remember the first time, and I've been in love ever since. I now am obsessed with his TV show Nikita, and I just love him. I think he's amazing. And, yeah, so, one and two are really tied, but I have to say number one is just going to be my number one forever. And number one is Cory Monteith. I fell in love with him when I first saw Glee for the first time. And the first episode of Glee that I ever saw was Born This Way. And I was in love with him. I thought he was the cutest thing I ever laid my eyes on. And I'm kind of mad at Leah Michelle for dating him. But if it, he had to date anybody, I'm kind of happy it's Leah Michelle. Don't get me wrong. I do love Leah Michelle, but I don't like her character because she took Ben away from me. Just saying, but I mean, I love Finn. I love Finn, and I love Corey. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just love Corey Monteith. But um, that is my top seven. It's supposed to be top five, but that's top seven of uh, my celebrity crushes, and I love them all so much. So I will be back for another top five. Bye-bye.